Hello everyone. Welcome back to our session, batch number 297. Yesterday, we completed day one as a question and answer session. And I hope my every students are satisfied with my answer. And if there is anything left, you can let me know, please. Okay. And hi, everyone. Good evening. Uh, welcome back, one and all. Clear. So I'm good. Uh, and I hope you all are doing good. My name is Aisha. Yesterday only I have given my instruction. And for those who missed the yesterday's class, I have already provided you the link to go and watch the yesterday's class. Maybe whatever your queries uh, related to the spoken English course, that there you will find the answer, right? If no, I'm here today. You can ask me at any time. I will be very happy to clear the doubts of my students. All right, then let's begin the today's class. Yeah, so uh, before moving forward, it's very important that you must know why are you learning English? What is the use of learning English? Why English is important? Where and when you can use this speaking English, how speaking English is totally different from the written English, how you can improve your speaking skills. Correct. So these are the things you... Hello everyone, good evening. Welcome back to our session. Due to the network problem, it was stuck in between. So I hope you all are back, uh, back right. So yesterday we discussed some question and answers related to all your queries, uh, related to the speaking English, like how you can improve your vocabulary, what are the things I'm going to discuss in our class, how I am uh, going to help my student to uh, clear their doubts and all. I have already done that. So in our today's session, first we're going to discuss like actually why, when, uh, when, where, how, and what is the need of learning English, right? Like we are many of my students, they already know how important English is, okay? How uh, they can learn English, uh, they already know, right? But there are something, guys, that you may don't know because uh, because yesterday I have done the conversation my, with my students. So they were like, ma'am, I was having a nervousness or else I think something in my brain and something uh, I'll speak like this. So before moving on to our main topic, before moving on to our basics of English, that is letters, sentences and all, it's very important to know why you are learning English. What is speaking English that is spoken English? and how it is different from other, right? Like for example, speaking English and all, uh, like 
return English, how it's different. Right. So first we'll going to discuss this, then later we'll going to play a small game in our today's session, and later we'll start our basic English. Right. So let's start. Okay. So English is very important, guys, to do the communication. Now the question may arise. Ma'am, why only the English is important, ma'am? Because we can also do the communication with our mother tongue, right? Uh, like yesterday, we, uh, uh, I and Ganesh done the conversation in Hindi. So you'll be like, mm, uh, in Hindi also we are communicating, ma'am. In Telugu also we are communicating, ma'am. What is the use of English here? So use of English here is to express your ideas, your feeling, the people around you. Okay, for example, if I'm from Maharashtra, so my language will be Marathi, right? So uh, I speak Marathi, but you are from Hyderabad. Your language will be like Telugu or Urdu. So you can't speak Marathi that well. So what is here? There is a lack of communication. That will that is known as our communication problem may arise. How we can do the conversation? How we can exchange our ideas? How we can ex uh, express our feelings and all? So here. English will play an important role, okay? Because I am also educated, you are also educated. We both know English, okay? With the English language, we can do the communication. And that kind of communication, guys, must be relevant, must be understanding, okay? Must be, like, uh, expressed in a good manner, okay? Now, what is this, ma'am, must be understanding? Because English, we are doing the conversation. What is the use and all? So, why I am telling, guys, it must be understanding and all? For example, let's take an example here. Uh, okay. Uh, I, for example, I am from a very poor English background. I don't know tenses. I don't know, uh, I don't know where to use verb. I don't know ing. I don't know ed. I don't know... How to do the communication with the other person, right? So I don't know that all things. So I will be like, uh, eh, uh, 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 like this, I'm talking with you all. Okay, so there is a meeting between you and me. So how I'm talking, uh, uh, mm. so you will be like, you are unable to understand it. Uh, you are unable to understand it, right? You will be like, what should I what the ma'am is telling, I can't understand why she is using uh, then why her grammar is not correct, then why her sentences are breaking, what she wants to tell, I can't understand. This kind of problem may arise. So that is why I am telling guys, you knowing the good English is very important. See here. Okay. So that is very important. Okay. So understanding is very important. Formation of a sentences is very important. For example, if I want to tell like yesterday, I slept, uh, yesterday I ate veg biryani. So uh, I don't know yesterday eight will come or eight, eight will come, eight, eight will come, or else eating. So I'll be like telling yesterday I am eating biryani. So you'll be like, yesterday also ma'am is saying, eating she is saying, biryani she is saying, ing will come in a verb present, how she is uh, telling, you'll be in a confusion. So that is why guys, knowing English is very important to do the conversation. As uh, you can say, in, you can see in our day-to-day -day life also, not only the India, but also other uh, other countries are learning English, right? To do the conversation, to know your culture, to know your traditional, to know yourself better, right? For example, if I have a Korean friend, I don't know Korea, but we both know English. So we'll do the conversation in English. So by that, I'll going to know, okay, these are my friend's hobbies, these are my friend, uh, uh, these are my friend's uh, favorite movies and all the English okay if we both don't know English how we can become friends so this is the this is this is nothing but the guys right English will play an important role to express the ideas to exchange the information to express your feelings around the people around us right this is all about this life right 
Now comes to nowadays, this is very important. Just now I have discussed how English is important. Not only me, my all the students, they know how the English is important in nowadays. It's a growing language, right? Growing language. Okay, so as the population is increasing, you can also see the need for some, some things will, will also increase. So need for English is also increasing. Here, let's go with a uh, with a small information, guys. Okay, it's an example, real life example. It's like there are two people. Okay, uh, uh, they both are doing BCom computers. So one is very good in English, but not good in grades. Okay, that person will always be like just pass, but she knows how to speak English fluently. Another person, her grades are very good. She always get first in class and all, right? But she don't know how to speak in English. They both go for the interview, right? They both go for the interview. So when they go for the interview, as for you, you will be like choosing the person who is having a grade, okay, grades. Like first class, okay, first class person. Come, 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 come. We'll take, we'll take you in our company. What's the use of taking that person? Because that person is not having a correct English fluency, correct communication skill. So what you will do going to do? You will going to make that person a cabin and sit. We will going to display you a first class grades in our company. No, that doesn't matter. That will not help you in growing your company, right? But if the person is very fluent in English, okay, if the person knows having a very good communication skill. So instead of asking your, uh, instead of asking that person's grade. They'll be like telling, oh, that person is awesome. She knows how to do the conversation. She understands my expression. She understands my feelings. The person will say like this, right? So, in that case, guys, English is very important. Now, as it's a growing uh, world, okay, uh, as it's growing daily, guys, you can also see many of the banking, uh, banking IT sectors, they are providing the opportunities for the youth people who knows the English free, uh, English fluently by themselves they are providing the training for them for free because later once they learn that training they will going to help in the future right so that is why guys English is very important and if you see in our common uh, society in our society where we see we can see that small kids are doing the conversation in English. Okay. So, this is the thing it will come, right? So, this is the speaking English is very important. So, if you see, guys, like, for example, celebrities also, we can take the example. I know they have money, right? I'm not telling, like, without money, they are, they become the celebrities and all. But if you see the celebrities, they are, like, uh, mostly are, like, 10th class pass or mostly are, like, 10th field. But they are earning more than that. But, but because they are having some kind of skill, they have know the communication skill as well. Okay, they are good in acting as well. But we all are not good, that much good in acting, right? So, apart from acting, what are the skills we can improve in ourselves? We can go for the communication skill. We can learn the leadership skill. We can learn the English, right? We can learn English language as well to do the communication. So, if you want to become later in the future, if you want to become a freelancer, if you want to become a content creator, if you want to open a YouTube channel, in that case also you must know English, right? You have to do the editing and all. How you can do the editing with the, uh, if you must know some kind of things like edit, crop, print, reverse, forward, backward, then you can do it, right? So like that also, that is uh, important, right? Uh, so uh, it's a skill a person can learn if he is educated, right? So I know mistakes may happen. But the person will learn from the mistakes only. Okay, this is all about our speaking English, how and how it's important. Job roles also it's important, guys. In the industries also it's important. Now, what is the importance of English in communication skills? From the from eight to 
कन्वर्जेशन राइट What is uh, communication skill, guys? According to you all, give uh, give me a minute. I'm going to unmute. Or else, if you want to answer, you can just raise your hand, guys. I'm going to unmute, please. Yeah. According to you, what is communication skill, guys? Why communication is skills is important? Uh. do you think english is important if you want to do the communication skill if you are learning communication skill do you think english is important can anyone let me know please i have given the permission anyone guys don't feel hesitate don't be nervous okay because if you are doing wrong no issues i am going to correct you later yeah Anyone can answer. Hi, hi, Aisha. Hi, Sita. Yeah. Yes, hi. Ah, uh, it's ah uh, communication means ah uh, two persons in between two persons sending and receiving messages like ah uh, ah uh, through verbal or non-verbal methods. It's a two-way yes, company. Correct. It's a sharing yeah, thoughts, yes. opinion, yes. ideas between both of them. Yes. correct uh yeah that is like sharing that is a uh, communication is nothing but as prisha said yes i am totally agree with prisha that it is a conversation between the two persons sharing their ideas exchanging their feelings telling about what a person have to do now oh, how uh, english is important in this communication skill guys what is the role of english in communication skill any idea any idea uh any idea like it okay let me only tell you guys no no issue just uh, okay just i'm all i'm going to tell so how english is important same as uh, our mother tongue guys english is also having a important role clear so now how english is having a important role whatever the conversation we are doing with the family that will comes under a communication skill we are doing in our mother tongue right we are moving uh, moving out we are making friends okay we are uh, making best friends we are going to college we are doing the communication but if you don't know how to start a communication if you don't know how to start the conversation with the other person it is like you are lacking behind in communication skills right but if you know how to start a uh, hello hi how you can communicate with one and another it will be very good start for you all okay so that is why english plays an important role in communication skill same as your mother tongue it's no, it's not like that okay that is important now comes to the communication skill so there are top 10 communication skills guys we'll going to see this in detail as well don't worry So first is active listening. So what do you mean by active listening? For example, I am telling, okay, from eight o'clock now it's eight thirty. I am telling, telling, ah, do these guys, do that guys. English is this, English is that. This, this kind of things will include in English and all. But you all are not listening to me. Okay. Suddenly I ask the question, what is communication skill? And you are like. Um, oh my God! What we should say to ma'am? Did she explain us, or did she asking us the question? This this thing will arise, right? So that is why active listening is very important. So whenever a person will ask you the question, like Are you listening to me? You will be like, Yeah, I am listening. With the full confidence, you should know what the other person is expecting from you. That is nothing but active listening. Now comes to the emotional intelligence. 
Now, what is intelligence? Because we know the artificial intelligence map. Now, what is this emotional intelligence map? Is it something or what is it? Emotional intelligence, guys. Everyone is a emotional person, right? Communication is the key to understand things in correct way. Yeah, correct, Ganesh. Uh, now, is it audible? Your voice is not coming properly, ma'am. Now, am I audible? Yes? Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Okay. So, what is here, guys? Emotional intelligence. Yeah, thank you. If it's right, okay. So, what is emotional intelligence? Let me give you a, a four things related to this, guys. First, it is self-awareness, guys. Second, it is others. Okay. First, we should think about ourselves. Then, we should think about others. This is this way really comes under emotional intelligence. Now, in a self, it will come like self-awareness, self-management. Right. For the others, it is like social awareness and relationship management. These are the four competences of emotional intelligence. So it is like person should understand what is the position, how I'm going to help the other person. This will come under our emotional intelligence. Ability to use different communication methods. Now, what are the communication methods? Two communication methods will be there, guys. Verbal and non-verbal. Verbal is nothing but the way we are speaking and doing the communication. Right. Now, non-verbal means, guys, using the gestures. For example, if I'm meeting my best friend, instead of telling hi, I'm going to raise my eyebrows. Okay, by raising the eyebrows, okay, my friend will understand, okay, she is telling hi to me. Or else, for nod, uh, or else nodding head. Okay, nodding ahead means, okay, it's a yes. If you are nodding head left to right, it means no. Okay, this is nothing but your communication methods. Friendliness, must be friendly with everyone. Empathy, show your empathy. Be confident, respect to everyone. Understanding non-verbal tools, that is what hand gestures, eyebrows raising, nodding head and all. Giving and receiving feedback, for example, if you are wrong. Someone is giving you the feedback. Okay. So someone is telling you like, ah, uh, you have done this mistake, please correct it. Instead of taking it in a positive way, you are like, how dare she said me to do that. I'm always correct. I'm confident. No, this kind of attitude must not be there. That's if you're learning something, right? So you'll be like, thanks for giving, thanks for your help. I'm going to improve myself. Like this must be the responsiveness. If someone is asking you the question or someone asking for your suggestion, you must be able to give your suggestions and all. Okay, that is important. Yeah. Now, see, steps to increase, uh, increase fluency in English. Okay, these are the steps. Yesterday also we discussed this step. Right. So, here you have to just go through it, guys. I have given yesterday also. If you have any doubt in, uh, from these points, let me know. Okay. Okay, so this is, uh, these are the things we already discussed, guys. More things will be there to increase your fluency in English. Later on in the upcoming classes, I'm going to share a document as well, uh, like which, from which movies you can learn English, from which, uh, by listening, which songs you can mostly, okay, all the songs you can learn English, guys, all the English movies you can learn. I'm not denying in that. But there are mostly some English movies will be there, some songs and dramas will be there. From there, you can learn more easy. Okay, that also I'm going to share with you all. And about the books and the newspaper or the, or the magazines, there is no particular uh, publication, guys. You can read any books of your own choice. Okay, there is nothing 
like i am not suggesting uh, suggesting any books to go through it like this publication these are this is the author and all you can go through any books and all and later at the end of our batch i am going to provide one book as well to you as a pdf or as as a document okay in that guys most of you know telugu right so in that telugu uh, telugu to english translation will be there you can learn from there okay because it's better if you know uh, okay hindi this word means in english this if you know this uh, translation from mother tongue to english it's very easy for you to understand and about the person who knows hindi very well i am preparing the documents for you guys to uh, in that it will also include the convert same translation what is included in the telugu to english same i am going to prepare for hindi to english as well okay don't worry about that so this is all about our today's uh, topic now let me share another one as well give me a minute okay so there are some important things guys relate before starting okay this you must know guys first letter of your a uh, sentence when it comes to the written written english must be a uh, capital right first letter and last letter must be capital when it's coming to a written and if it's coming to the conversation first person has to say uh, okay first person let give the first person to do the communication then you can start your communication or else if you are willing to do the conversation with the person you can do the start the conversation now let's play a game the rule of the game will be very easy see here this is the rule of the game c e is there okay at the end of the word c is there okay you have to start with the letter t now so on we'll going to see see the example here the game which we'll going to play see here so if i'll say english h is the ending word you are starting word must start with h that is hen n is the ending word you have to again start a word with n and so on we'll going to play right are you all uh, ready for a game guys here we'll going to learn some new words are you all ready guys i have given the permission to you to unmute as well or else if you are very fast in typing just go for it yeah yeah come on let's start Uh, okay, I'm going to start first now. Okay. Uh oh, let's start. Okay. Uh, English. Post. Post. P. Fast guys, you can also type in the chat box. Post. Free. Free. E. Elephant. A uh, T. Time. 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 E again. E guys. Fast. Fast. You have to enrollment. Enrollment. T. Again. T. Tiger. R. Okay. R. Rabbit. T. Is that something that like all the students be? Okay. Tattoo. Yeah. O. Orange. Orange. E. Egg. G fast genius girl ah huh? garland b okay girl girl okay l lion lion n fast next next <laughs> okay fast what toll uh, l fast toll lost lion lion we already done lost t okay again t tender ah. tomorrow साउंड L and R, come on, L and R. Sun. Railway. Okay. Railway. Railway. Yellow. Yellow. W. Yes. 
work 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 we already done done okay. Rest, by rest. week 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 w w k okay k king king we already done kite <laughs> kite also we already done knowledge knowledge it okay. it okay. knowledge we have not done okay e extra elegant a okay a apple e england okay england, england. one drop the one d england delete 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 also e delhi done okay i done b okay we'll go Devil. with hi i okay l l also with l we have done right i will go with i island ice ice e fast ice ice if okay e y e s e s e e s e e g e okay s n t south h south okay t again t is coming satin south t h h south okay satin house 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 hunt hunter hunt okay hunter r okay can you give me with uh, z zebra 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 apart from zebra come on how am i telling zebra zoom. zebra zoom zoom okay apart zoom. from zoom zero zero okay more zero. words with zero zero Think, use your brain guys this is a play uh, from which you zumba. can learn the new words zoom zoom zip zumba zumba okay zumba okay then zip also done more words come on judo judo okay zoom 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 also we done zero da zero da ha zero da okay next zig 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 zag okay zig zig also zip zip all zero da hmm uh we'll go for you umbrella okay umbrella done then under under okay understanding okay unavailable half to unavailable ah okay union okay five done let's go with the letter p we have not done with the p right price price yes. and price price popcorn price p r i c e and p r i z d pot purse pot pot purse pool parrot 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 Pigeon, yes, positive, prince, princess, prince, pink, princess, yes, yes, peacock, yes, correct. Peacock. Uh, peacock. Yeah. What about you? Peacock. Now it's a hard for you. Um, you say queen. queen only. Okay. Queen. <laughs> Apart from queen, quick, quick, queen. Okay. Q U I L. Queen. Q Q U E Q. Right. Apart from that, queen. Question. Question. Okay. Question. Question. question, question, question query and. Queen. Quick, quick and quick, quick. Yes. yes. Quiet twist. Yes, correct. Quotation, yeah. Yeah, quotation. Yeah. Yes, correct. What Quint. about J? Jack. Jealous. Jealous. Joker. Jealous. Joker. Jockey. 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 Xerox. Okay, and telephone. 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 Yeah, and other. X-ray. 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 Okay. Geometry. And express. Express. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, express. No, no, no. E X. No, no, no. E. No, no. E X will be there. Express. E X. Xerox. Yeah. Xerox. We done. Xerox. We are not getting much words from. Done, right? The X, Only the these X. are the most of the time is X uh, ray, Xerox, Xerox, Xerox. Okay, there are others are also there, guys. Like extra X Y S T E R, extra X six X E R I C, exclaim X Y L E M. Okay, we don't know the meaning words, of that. Uh, we don't Aisha, know the meaning. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah, we don't know the meaning. But uh, like without using the first word X, we are having many words, right? Like ox, makes, axe, tax, 
like this we do they yeah we don't actually uh, start with an all okay so that is that's it so this is related to our game how it how it guys you all are like very eager to remember the things right now yeah. how you have played this game same only you have to play with the people no. when you are doing the conversation with them now playing with the people means don't do something uh, else okay it means playing with their brains which means you have to be very quick to answer very to active to listen what they are telling to you or what they are asking to you you have to uh, learn another skill when you are doing the conversation with the person so what is that skill guys most of the office uh, most uh, most in the offices we they are going to use this trick what is that call as one trick will be there now what is many per, many persons are doing this kind of trick when they are doing the conversation with the person what is that it will start with m what is that that will start with m meeting mock no M O M. Have you heard manipulation in your company? Manipulation. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Correct. Everyone yes. is doing this, right? Yes. It's yes. a kind of thing. Manipulation. Manipulation. Okay. So that is what you also you have to learn this as well, guys. Manipulation trick. When you ever you are meeting someone, whenever you are doing the conversation with someone, this trick is very important. to to uh, take this uh, work from others right to take the help from others that is very important if you are living in a in this kind of world manipulation manipulation trick you must know how to manipulate others right yes yeah that is important that also teach you here ah huh? <laughs> you want me to <laughs> teach that yeah it's fine ah huh? If you want me to teach, teach that, okay, I teach. But uh, later on, if you will manipulate me, then no, I say you are my uh, guru, right? We won't do that. Okay, so you you won't practice on guru, right? Yeah. We'll practice on others. Now that's better. <laughs> It means I can take that as well. If we have a time, then only we can take that. Okay. it's a manipulation there are many books you can do you can just learn how to do the manipulation and all that related to the books if you want i can suggest a book for you okay so that is different now comes to our class guys okay few a few subject areas guys where the english is important is meeting and greeting discussion okay typical pronunciation problems you all have to focus on this proverbs and idioms uh, praying in public Pre uh, okay proverbs and idioms are very important guys okay to make if you are making a long sentence if you want to make it in a short and that person must understand what you are speaking so in that case guys you can use or you can go with the proverbs or else with the idioms all right so you can go but it's not easy to go with the proverbs and idioms guys why it's not easy ma'am just now you said everything easy you can learn anything yeah you can learn anything i am not denying it guys it is like <clears throat> why i am telling means guys you must know the meaning of that right then only you can use it okay for example here we can go with the idiom one example like a piece of a cake So a piece of a cake means in general term it is like ma'am is telling to eat eat a piece of a cake right in general term come on it's very uh, i'm telling like some hard topic is there i'm telling ah it's a piece of a cake you'll be like suddenly ah this is a hard topic we are learning english what happened to aisha ma'am why she is telling us ah piece of a cake so should we eat a piece of a cake at this time what happened to her so if you don't know the uh, meaning of some proverbs and idioms guys you should not use it first you must know the meaning of it then you can use it in a letter so a piece of a cake is nothing but very easy okay very easy is nothing but a piece of a cake so you must understand this later you can use it anyway if you want okay but as india is a mix of british and an american english guys okay i think you know this right indian english is not there it is a combination of both british 
ओके इट इज ब्रिटिश एंड अमेरिकन इंग्लिश दे दो बोथ मिक्स टुगेदर एंड मेक अ इंडियन इंग्लिश ओके एक्चुअली आवर लैंग्वेज इज नॉट इंग्लिश राइट आवर लैंग्वेज इज डिफरेंट बट एज यू नो इफ यू सी द हिस्ट्री एंड ऑल वी वी हैव बीन रूल्ड बाय द ब्रिटिशर्स दे टॉट अस इन इंग्लिश एंड ऑल सो इवन इवन दो दे लेफ्ट द कंट्री द थिंग व्हिच इज लेफ्ट behind is english and we are learning right now okay so idioms and proverbs guys mostly used used by the native speakers native speakers are nothing but the guys the person whose mother tongue is english but we are not regarded as a native speakers because english is our second subject right first yeah english is our second subject yeah first is something like uh, hindi we can take yeah we can take hindi sanskrit uh, what is based on our like areas we can take like telugu is there like this we can take but english is the second language and it is also known as a compulsory language if you want to live in this corporate world in this educational world then you must learn the english okay that is so important so it comes to the idioms and proverbs guys native speakers mostly use it because they mostly you know the meaning of every words what they are speaking but if you all want to learn guys i am going to explain you these all idioms with the meanings and how you can use that in your day to day conversation and how you can easily remember it i am also having that uh, that document as well with me so in our upcoming classes we'll also going to discuss in detail uh, about uh, proverbs and idioms okay see here. so these are the queries okay western culture we are living in a western culture you all know okay even though we are indian even though we are some we are from different caste okay we are from different religions mostly we are living in a western culture now how we are living in a western culture ma'am simple example guys you all are boys are all are wearing jeans and t-shirts girls are wearing some jeans and t-shirts skirts and all what is this this is a western culture right if you are telling no ma'am i we have not followed a western culture no you all are following the western culture only because for example if i am from some kind of uh, what is that um, place name okay if i am from manipur okay if i am from manipur so i should not be wearing a manipur uh, manipuri clothes all the time i'll be wearing some jeans and t-shirt what is this i'm following the western culture i'm following a mixed culture of british and american and if i'm doing the conversation with the other person if i'm meeting them i'm doing the conversation in english so slowly slowly we are adapting the western culture to live in this society okay this is important okay now another thing guys you all know the grammar but what is the thing you all are facing is how to uh, how to learn grammar how to remember it and all okay some are like speak some are like slower in speaking some are, are very poorer in speaking okay that also we'll going to do in our session so so copy a good english speaker these are the tips guys listen well to the one who is speaking english try to make phrase do you know what is the difference between the phrase and uh, phrase and clause guys any idea phrase and clause difference between the phrase and clause have you ever he uh, heard the word phrase and have you ever ever heard the uh, word clause any between two any idea any idea guys present yes maya you can unmute yourself I have given the permission what happened no idea present clause if no idea guys you can tell me no ma'am so that i can explain or else i will be waiting till 10 o'clock 
okay my students will answer my students will answer okay. i'm going to pray. praise means uh, a okay. group of words uh, it's a group of words uh, we can use it like a phrase like a, okay what about clause then no idea clause uh, i think phrase is a, a group of word which uh, it doesn't explain the com complete thought but uh, ah. uh, 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 correct, correct. Yes, and uh, i think clauses ah, you can uh, speak in hindi yeah, yeah. no but i can I will, i will try to speak in english ah, and uh, clauses uh, are uh, the group of words uh, which uh, explain the complete thoughts correct correct very good yeah both of you are correct guys right? complete thought and not a complete thought now i i want to give the example here related phrases and clause okay so phrases are the words guys okay phrases are the words now what is the word open door okay uh stand here what is this stand here open door here if i am telling i am telling someone okay trisha open door which means she will be confusing. Eh? Open door. There are five doors. Which door I have to open? Okay. Confusion will arise. So here it's not a complete thought. Which means this is not my complete sentence. Clear. Now comes to the clause. Same example I am going to say. Trisha opened the door next to you. Okay. Open the door next to you I said. So this is my clause. Here I am giving the complete thought. Here I am making a complete sentence. Now Srita will know that. Ha ha ha. Ma'am is telling to open the door which is close to me okay so this is how the differentiate will be there guys between the phrase and clause clear so uh, most of the time guys we will going to use the phrases we will going to use the clauses if you want to give a complete information like in detail information which should not be confusing to the other person with whom we are doing the conversation we can go with the clauses Okay, whereas when it comes to the small information like stand, okay, stand, go, th this kind of things will come, that will come comes under a phrase. Okay, so this is the difference between the clause and phrase. Don't worry, like ma'am is just say, telling, well, uh, is she provide the notes and no, uh, notes or not means I'm going to provide the notes, right? Just a journal information because in our upcoming classes, the words will be repeating like phrase and clause, phrase and clause. So you should not be confused. Okay. So that is uh, that is why I just given a very small information between the phrase and clause. Clear. Okay. Any doubt here in, in this, guys? You can ask me now. Like for another example, we will like loud and clear. You will be like, ma'am, can you be loud and clear? Or, okay, or okay, leave ma'am. You will be like, loud and clear. This is the phrase, which means you are not giving the complete information, but also you are giving the information. That is loud and clear. Now comes to the phrase, guys. Uh, sorry, now comes to the clause. It is like, they moved fast. Now, this is the complete information you are telling. Okay, the persons uh, are moved fast. Okay, so this is the difference between the clause and phrase. Any doubt, you can ask me now. No? If you, if yes or no, if it's there, guys, you can tell me in the chat box as well. Okay, because I'll be waiting for your response. Then only I can go move forward. Okay, so it's better. Yes, it's clear, ma'am. Okay, clear. Thank you. Okay, so this is the difference. Okay, now done with our uh, speaking. Okay, done with our spoken English nor information. Now it's time for me to know my each and every student. Now I have given the permission as well. Now it's time to explain. I told you yesterday as well. Only three things that is required. Your name, why are you here? What is the purpose of learning? Some interesting fact about. Now, interesting fact is nothing but guys, don't tell like, ma'am, I have a very long hair. Ma'am, I'm a very fair girl. I'm a handsome man, ma'am. This is not the interesting fact, okay? 
interesting facts are nothing but what are your hobbies what are your profession and all okay now interesting fact means you'll be thinking something else no this is not that is not like this it is like what are your hobbies uh, what do you want to become if you are a student later on what do you want to achieve in your life your goals and all that will comes under a introduction of yourself that is nothing but interesting fact clear can you start guys one by one i want to know about my students yeah come on and give yourself give your name why are you here what is the purpose for you learning english what are your uh, like in in what ways you are lacking behind let me know that please can i start ma'am huh? can i yeah, start please please yeah hi everyone uh, my name is risha uh, i'm staying in pune uh, basically i am from uh, andhra uh why i am here is uh, i am a health coach um i i uh, i used to give lot of webinars in telugu but now uh, as i am in pune many of uh, friends uh, different uh, states people will join so i thought of giving in english so i have i have a knowledge but my problem is with english because i know english but practice is not there uh, so because of that uh i will uh, i'll be a bit uh, confusion while giving the webinar i'm not able to give 100% so that's why i want to be perfect in that i want to be practice with all of you and aisha ma'am um, yeah that's it that's, okay thank you that was a very good introduction of your health coach that's very important for a health coach to learn english as well because some people don't know telugu like me so if they are asking you something you must be able to give them answer right yes. very good okay okay nice other than srisha any anyone else want to give the introduction don't be hesitate guys please don't be nervous or shy anything else Yeah, bha bhavna yes ma'am yes yeah. yes ma'am uh, uh, hi ma'am hello everyone uh, my name is bhavna and i am from madhya pradesh uh, currently i am working with an it company and uh, my reason and my purpose to join this uh, class is that i just want to improve my communication skill uh, my weak point which i uh, feel uh, in communication is like uh, i can not to speak fluently or uh, sometimes uh, i feel hesitate so that's why i just want to remove my that hesitation and uh, uh, that's why i joined this uh, session that's it okay very nice bhavna even if you are hesitating you to speak you have done very well that's very impressive Nice to meet you. I hope you will be there till the end of our batch. Thank you for yes, your introduction. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Apart from the Bhavna, anyone else? Come on, guys. Alice is there. Uh, okay. Ganesh yesterday he has given. I think. Okay. Many are there. Come on, guys. Unmute yourself and give me the introduction. No one is here to judge you. I can guarantee that to you all, because we all are here for learning. So, so start it. guys come on see this kind of opportunities you will not get many times in your life that's very important someone when someone is telling you to speak speak and they are not judging you as well they are just helping you to okay start rajini is okay you want to do the conversation give your introduction yes ma'am okay hi ma'am hi, hi. My name is Rajni. I'm I'm from Hyderabad. I am homemaker. Um, I have completed my B Tech. Um, actually, uh, basically, I'm from Telugu medium, ma'am. Okay. Uh, I I don't know English very much. Okay. So, um, I. How to? I don't know how to use English grammar. But you are speaking very oh. good. I must say, you don't know you are from the Telugu media, but your English is very good. Okay, mm -hmm. 
those who are from the Telugu medium, they don't even know how to introduce themselves, right? But you are very uh, excellent. I can say like, okay, no issues, Rajni, I'm here to help you. We'll go, we'll go with the grammar first and later we'll going to start the communication skills, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you for your introduction. Okay. Very brave actually. It's, uh, without any hesitation, she started giving the introduction. Thank you. Yeah, Ganesh, G Ganesh. Or Ganesh. Hi, Ganesh. Okay. Hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, good evening. Um, myself, Ganesh, and I'm basically from Mandra, but I'm staying in Bangalore. And why I'm here is like uh, I need to improve my speaking skills and uh, professional uh, email conversation as well. And that's the main thing actually. I to I'm joining here. And yeah, that's all about my side. Yeah, thank you, Aisha. And, uh, okay, thank you. That's very nice to know about you. Uh, okay, very good. Apart from the need, any uh, anyone else want to do the conversation? Okay, Prabhi. Hi, Aisha. Yeah, hi. Hi. Hi, hi. hi. hi everyone. Good evening. Uh, my name is Praveen Kumar. Uh, I trying to uh, job in IT sector. Uh, yeah, my basically my problem is I, I can't flip speaking fluently in english and uh, i feel hesitate uh, i have to improve my communication skills that's why i joined in this class very good okay nice to know about you uh, that's it yeah that's it. okay thank you yeah nikhil want to say something hi ma'am hi nikhil good evening good evening i am uh, scared in wild right now Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. Uh, my name is Nikhil. I am from Kolhapur. Okay. Uh, my English not very well, but uh, I know English. But uh, I am speaking English. My English is uh, not that much fluent to uh, do the fluency with the, with the conversation with the others who knows yes. English more than you, right? Yes, ma'am. Clear. Yes, yeah. yeah, okay, okay, no issues. It's very easy to speak in English, it's not that much hard to do the communication in English. Okay, I'm going to help you with that. Okay, Nikhil, okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, another Srisha K is there. Okay, you want to do the conversation? Hi, 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 everyone. Hi, hi. Your, your voice is not clear, Srisha. Can you please check your settings? Hello? Hello, yeah. You are audible now. Tell me. Hi, ma'am. Hi, yeah. Hi, my name is Srisha. Mm -hmm. I am from... Yeah, you are from? Okay. Ramya, can you start? Yeah, you can unmute yourself. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Uh, mm -hmm. Good evening to all and all. Uh, I am Ramya. I am from Hyderabad. Uh, I am a working woman. Uh, what I am, uh, why I am here to you? Uh, improve my communication skills and uh, settle down to in IT industry. Yes, very good. That's very important to know the English in IT industry to do the communication with the clients and others. Okay, so you are here for the communication and a working movement. Very good. Okay, so no issues. We're going to learn together some new things and we're going to do the exercises as well. No issues in that. Thank you for your introduction. Okay, so guys, as you all are giving your introduction in a such a way that your name and all. So on Monday, guys, I'm going to start with the introduction first. one. Okay, how to give a introduction. Okay, that will be our, that will going to be our first topic. Okay, because I can see that uh, you, you all are giving the uh, uh, introduction. That's good. But you don't know the difference between the two types of introduction that is formal and informal. That we're going to discuss in our Monday's class. That is nothing but our day three class. Okay. 
so there we're going to discuss this is not a proper way actually to give the introduction if someone will ask you to introduce yourself maybe it's in a formal or maybe it's an informal manner but you all are given very good it's no doubt in that but I'm going to show the proper manner. That's it. Okay. But uh, apart from that, you all are very confidently given your uh, introduction. Even you don't know the communication and you all are hesitated and nervous and all. So no issues in that. I'm going to tell. Okay. So uh, in this badge, guys, we'll be learning all the four skills. That is listening is nothing but I'm speaking and you all are listening. Second, I'm giving the chance for you to speak. Third, reading sessions will also be there, guys. Like I'm going to give you a paragraph and all in that you have to do the reading. Right. And writing, writing skills, I'm going to show you how to write an essay, how to write a news, uh, news, uh, news, what is that? The uh, editor, we can say, uh, editing something or resume and all. Okay, so that's all in our today's session. Any doubts, you can tell me, guys. Apart from this, any doubts, guys? Any issues? Are you all satisfied? Any suggestions you all wanted to give me? Yeah, you are all are welcome to give me the suggestions, please. Any suggestions from Monday? We're going to start, guys. Okay, please. Do we have class tomorrow or not? Uh, okay, wait, guys. Half now we don't have classes on Sunday and Saturday. Our classes will be from Monday to Friday. Yesterday only we have discussed that. And uh, I have already given you the day one recording as well as the payment link, guys. Please make sure you should make a use of that. Okay. And day two also we're going to update in the uh, WhatsApp group, right? So if you have not joined the WhatsApp group, please join it. And on Monday, I am going to show you if the link I have provided in uh, in the chat, if it's not working, what is the second option? You can go with that. Okay. Okay. Aisha went out. Sorry. Uh, ah, yeah, then. Uh, you're mentioning next class is on Monday, but uh, you're telling Monday. Tomorrow is, Friday. okay, tomorrow is Friday, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is the reason you all are asking. I forgot actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so tomorrow is Saturday. Oh my God. Due to busy yeah. schedule. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tomorrow we have class, guys. Sorry for that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. Thanks yes. for helping me. This kind of help I need in my class because I forgot what I, have, what I was telling and all. Okay. Tomorrow we're going to discuss it. Okay. I was thinking like today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday and all. Okay. Up. Okay. Leave that. Thank you for your help, guys. Letting me know that tomorrow is Friday, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh. So let's end our class. Tomorrow our session will be there, guys. 8 to 9. Saturday, Sunday will not have any sessions. Okay. Okay, so we are also going to the weekend mode actually. Yeah. <laughs> actually, it's uh, Thursday. So it's like due to heavy work will be like when the Saturday will come, when we'll take the uh, rest and all, right? I was like you thinking in that way. Okay, so thank you for joining guys. Let's meet tomorrow at uh, 8 o'clock. Okay, we have tomorrow session. Till then, take care of yourself. Help me, help you, stay healthy. Good night. And good night, a, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Let's meet tomorrow. Bye, okay. good night. Good bye, night. bye, bye. Bye everyone. Good night. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs>